Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to jump into what are the top five ways of leveling in New World. There's five different methods that I take as good ways of leveling. I'm going to walk you through every single really option and go through, like I said, from five all the way down to the first, what's going to be the best option when it comes to leveling in New World. Obviously, level 60, I've tried all the methods myself. I didn't just run through the game doing only town boards or only faction missions or only main quest. So like I said, we're going to run you through the top five, starting with number five. So like I said, guys, we are going to jump through all the top five leveling methods, starting with number five, and that's going to be faction missions. So when we talk about faction missions, they're not always going to be the best XP, but there are some great ways to take advantage of faction missions. So let's go over to the faction board, or really not even the faction board, but the faction rep, and take a look. So what you'll see here is there is actually going to be this really idea of daily bonuses available. So you'll see that in the top left. It'll say 3 of 3, or most likely 0 of 3. You can also you know see that there's 1 of 3 or 2 of 3 left, but... You know, for the most part, like I said, you're going to log in and you're going to always have that three of three readily available. You're going to want to make sure to do the highest missions possible. So I'm in Everfall or sorry, Windsward right now. I'm not going to want to take these first three daily bonuses if I have them in Windsward because that's going to be very, very low XP rates. And when you get that bonus, it's not going to be that great of a bonus. So what I would like to do since I'm level 60 is most likely go to something like Reekwater, Evanscale Reach, or even Shattered Mountain. I do believe these Shattered Mountain PvP quests, or even maybe all the faction missions there are a little bit buggy, but for the most part, like I said, I would, I would probably like to go to somewhere like Reekwater, or maybe even do an expedition to try to maximize the, you know, bonus that I'll be getting with that daily bonus that you do, like I said, get daily. So that's going to be one thing to keep in mind. I do want to say altogether, faction missions are going to be number five because they're not the fastest. You know, you do want to make sure to do your daily bonuses, but that's about it. You know, when it comes to faction missions unless you are farming them for tokens and gear which you obviously can do so here you can see there's soldier gladiator ravager destroyer and commander you can see all the great gear you can actually grab if you farm the faction tokens but they're not going to be like i said the fastest way of leveling however if we jump over to number four that's going to be the side quest so when i talk about side quests there's a ton of side quests so if we take a look at the map I have actually done almost none of the First Light side quests. You can see them all around the map here in First Light. I haven't done all of the Cutlass Keys. Certain ones I kind of skipped out in Monarch's Bluffs. Reekwater, we still have some to do as well. So, you know, you don't have to do every single one, obviously, to get to level 60. And it's not always going to be to really be that, like I said, fastest route to, you know, XP and leveling. So, side quests, which one should you do? That's going to be the big question. I would always stick with doing all of Everfalls. So what I did when I was leveling is stick with the main story and all of side quests in Everfall. Because if you do the side quests in Everfall, you do get a XP, or not really an XP, but a quest that will actually give you additional XP and additional really a reward for completing Amrine Excavation and Starstone Barrows, which is the 25 right here, Amrine Excavation, and the 35 um, Starstone Barrows Dungeon. They'll give you an extra key. So you'll have two keys of each. You'll be able to run them twice. And you'll also be able to get, like I said, great XP from that. So make sure to do all of your side quests in Everfall if you want to take advantage of that. And like I said as well, you are going to have to be 25 and 35 for your respective levels to do those dungeons and get those side quests to actually show up. So I do want to talk about number three because we talked about a little bit in the last one. You know, when you're doing the main quest, there are side quests to do. However, main quest is definitely going to be one of the fastest ways to level. We've talked about, you know, doing a bunch of different things along the way. You can see here, you know, I have a couple different things around the map. Let's go to actually Reekwater. You can see here, I actually have to do this expedition, but let's just say that's a regular quest. I have a faction mission right on top of it. So you do two things at once, and that's how you really continue to, you know, play the game. It's really, not really just successfully, but... I'm talking more of, uh, you know, you always try to do two, bird, two birds, one stone, and you'll, on the way, maybe kill rabbits or turkeys for your town board. So that's something to keep in mind as well. So when you're thinking about side, or sorry, not side quests, but main quests, always do things along the way that make sense, and don't go too far out of the way, because main quests do give tons of XP, and they are going to help you, you know, continue along all of these awesome expeditions, as they don't just take you through Amrine Excavation, Starstone Barrows, they take you up to Restless Shore, they take you to, to the Depths, which is a 45 dungeon. 
Then they take you all the way over to Dynasty Shipyard, a 55 dungeon. And then you can see now, like I said, we have the Lazarus Instrumentality as my next, next one. And then we also have the Genesis, our Garden of Genesis at the top, both level 60 dungeons to do next on. So main quest is very, very important. Definitely stick to the main quest while you're leveling for that insane XP rate as well. I do want to talk about number two. And this one I talked about just recently in its own kind of video. That's going to be the obvious one, in my opinion, Corrupted Portals. So running Corrupted Portals with up to 10 to 15 people, if you can get that going in your server, depending on you know your faction or really just the server as a whole, it's going to be insanely, insanely fast XP. 10 to 15 people, and you can see Great Cleave as a great option for 45s. You can actually teleport up to one of these outposts and continue to run these just back and back and back and back and forth. A lot of people like to run up in Weaver's Fen as well. When Weaver's Fen has a lot of it uh, or a lot of corrupted portals, they'll have some in the top left as well as top right. And you can run from portal to portal, giving you, I believe, level 35 right around 605 XP for the small and above above 2,000, um, you know, for the you know for the major caches or the major I should say portals up there in Weaver's. So those are for the level 35 done or sorry level 35 portals around New World or Eternum. So. I do want to talk a little bit more about Corrupted Portals because they don't just give you XP. They also give you Azoth. They give you Territory Standing. They also give you a little bit of loot because you'll get a cash at the end of the, uh, at the end of the, um, I'm looking for the wording here, obviously the Corrupted Portal. Uh, but you know, one thing to keep in mind as well is you'll have more portals in places that have invasions coming up. So here we have Brightwood, right? Brightwood has three ticks on the invasion. Um, I'm not sure exactly what these are called, but three little pips or three little ticks right below Brightwood. You can see it here. That just basically means that there's going to be even more, uh, you know, invasion or not invasions, but corrupted portals in this area. So you're starting to see a ton show up here in the bottom right. You're seeing a major over here. You're also seeing two in the top, uh, top middle. So they're going to show up quite a bit on Brightwood because there's, you know, three pips. And you can see that in Everfall as well. So three pips in Everfall and a ton of portals. What you do see is, oh, what do you know? Weaver's Fen only has two, so there's not as many. There's going to be just one, two, three. There's probably people, by the way, doing these right now, so there's probably just a little bit less. But I do want to talk more about my, you know, favorite way of leveling, and that's because it lets you do such a variety of things. And we've talked about this kind of in its own video as well, like I said, with Corrupted Portals, but it's because it's so, so valuable when it comes to XP rates and leveling fast. So if you go to the town board, you're going to be able to see a bunch of different options. One, you're going to see things like Hunt Rabbits, or hunt alligators or hunt uh, turkeys. Those are going to be fairly decent options if you just want to kill stuff on the way from quest to quest, or you have a main quest or side quest that are kind of out of the way. You can kill things on the way and you know get pretty fast levels, like I said, through the town board as somebody leveled up in the background there in the video. Uh, but you can actually see, like I said, a lot of great options. You have searching. So if you want to do these for a great territory standing, they're not a ton of XP, but if you want to do them, it's not bad at all because some of them you'll be actually doing a side quest and they'll be in the same zone. So that's definitely a possibility as well. Also, if you want to do, you know, some of this stuff for great XP, armor smithing is going to be a great one because it actually gives you XP for gathering, XP for refining, XP for crafting, and then XP for turning it in. So there's four ways to really level throughout making that armor uh, right there. So that's, like I said, a lot of, a lot of ways I leveled fast and, you know, efficiently is through the town board. You can also see that once you get higher levels in certain things like stone cutting, you can also get things like 20 stone brick instead of the you know previous 20 stone blocks, or I believe it's, what is it called? 20 stone blocks, I believe. So like I said, those kind of upgrade and get you more XP the more you get your you know refining and your crafting and your gathering all the way up together at the same time. So that's kind of just what I wanted to kind of demonstrate for you guys as the fastest five ways to level in New World, or really the fastest methods in general. You know, there's people that always talk about just going to certain places and just killing mobs for XP. They're talking about weapon XP. You're really realistically not going to get too much XP from just killing mobs, even if it's an elite zone. You know, we've talked about Monarch's Bluffs on the stream quite a bit. Dead Man's Cove being one of the best places for early levels to get that weapon XP or just have a little fun in an open world kind of concept of a dungeon. But like I said, when it comes to just straight up character XP, these are going to be the five ways to do it. And I, I did, like I started, like I said, start kind of from the worst to the best in faction missions it's not like they're bad but you definitely want to utilize your three daily mission bonuses on a high up territory you're the highest you can do so if you're like level 25 or 30 you can actually jump into brightwood do your territory missions there or fact or i should say faction missions not your territory missions but your faction missions up in brightwood and then switch back down 
to wherever you need to be for town boards or corrupted portals or main quests, etc. So thank you guys again for tuning in. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys haven't checked out the stream as well, we do stream pretty much daily. Twitch.tv slash iGraphGuy. It's going to be in the description of the video as well. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. I'll see you all on Eternum.